Hey, yo, hey, niggas get shot every day, B. You be a right, nigga. You tough, right? What's up, y'all? It's Kelly West. Thank you for tuning in to another episode. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Feeling this shit. So, it's old news that a Mr. Ralph Yarl, who is, I believe, 16 years old, was shot by a 84-year-old Caucasian man. About a week or two ago. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Now, a lot of people want to claim racism, things of such in that nature. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I am shocked, shocked. Well, not that shocked. But at the same time, I'll just say this. One of the problems that we're not addressing, other than the fact that you know maybe this guy's off his rocker, maybe he's paranoid. You know, there's a lot of things you would say about this 84 year old individual but my question is to black people especially black women why is your son doing your jobs as a mother you don't find that suspicious you don't find that suspicious you don't find that suspicious. Now, we all know Ralph Yarl went to the wrong address because of the fact that he had to pick up his two siblings. Ooh, now, I did a little bit of research. Come to find out, the mother is an independent single mother. I am shocked, shocked. Well, not that shocked. Now, you know, women, if you want to be independent and strong, that's fine if that's what y'all want to, you know, if that's what you want to be perceived as. But you can be strong, proud, and independent and still need your children, such as the 16 year old young boy or the 16 year old young man. To have him go pick up his siblings from the wrong address. First and foremost, if you have your son going to pick up anyone, that's your job. He ain't lying. See, black women want to not take, you know, black man's lead for his monetary status or because he's more valuable divorced or more valuable being separate because you get child support benefits section 8 benefits and of course child support as in the sense of not to be with our man lord have mercy we must stay focused brothers we must stay focused but how does that compute to ralph yarrow's situation like i said she's a single mother She's probably getting child support for all three of those kids. But instead of dropping those boys off to their father to be washed over or to help her out as she pretends to be a strong, independent single mother, she decided to withhold her children from the fathers as well as Carl Yall and make him be her son husband. So he's doing all her bidding. And that's why he was even in position to even be injured in the first place. You sound so It's all bullshit. All of it. Why is no one saying anything about black women claiming to be independent, yet they have their kids helping them be a parent? What kind of shit is that? This 16 year old boy, I have to be honest with you, if you look at his pictures, and yeah, there's a lot of things that we could say, but we're not here to attack children. That's a whole nother debate for another day. And to be honest, that's neither here nor there at this moment. 
but why does he have to beat up on a five babysitter to the point that he had to risk his life going to pick up his siblings from the wrong address now why everybody wants to jump on a bad wagon and say that you know maybe the guy's racist a matter of fact his grandson even came out and said that he had prejudice tendencies and maybe he did and maybe he didn't but unless he said the n-word or said something derogatory we can't really say that racism played a part and if you do want to say that racism played a part explain why just today or was it yesterday police arrested a man who allegedly shot a six-year-old when a basketball rolled into the yard now of course the 24 year old man accused of shooting a six year old her parents and another neighbor after a basketball rolled into his yard in North Carolina is now in police custody now of course the man in question who is the shooter is a black man now of course the child and I think I believe the parents I could be wrong they might have been Caucasian and maybe they're black possibly but at the same time why did he shoot them was it because of reverse racism was it because of self-hatred or is it because people are just very very touchy about their property what? Say what again? Say what again? I dare you. I double dare you, motherfuckers. Sometimes, we all know, especially down south, I know I try to stay out of people's yards. Even if I have some business with them, I try to call them before I just enter onto their uh, grounds because people are very gun ho and I know people are quick to shoot first and ask questions later. Um, I do that whether I'm in LA, whether I'm down south or not just to try to play it safe because I just know how people are when you come onto their property and you know this man so before we try to make it into a racial issue we should maybe take it make it a parental issue why is Carl why is Ralph Yarl even going to even pick up his siblings when he should be studying for school to get into college or playing a sport or do anything or even enjoying the rest of his adolescence because he has his whole life to be an adult it is unfair for kids or young adolescents as him to have to go and pick up his siblings in the first place because that's his time not for his time to go help out mommy pretend to be strong and independent so put that in your pipe and smoke it he ain't lying Hey, yo, hey, niggas get shot every day, B.